dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. Hopefully. It's the last time I'm gonna restart this intro, man. We got another round of Pop the Bloom or Fire Love. This is episode 22. <sighs> I guess fifth time's a charm, huh? Child, let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> we was rolling and see, uh, see, you know, interrupted. Uh, but with that being said, man, uh, hopefully we only had what one, one match last week. Uh, want to see the follow up behind that situation? Remember. Mm-hmm. Tight jeans and and therapists. Yeah. Oh they, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, the only yeah. match last week. Yeah. Everybody else was just a. I thought the first guy last week was gonna match up, but he didn't. I was yeah, like, yeah. dang. But everybody else, I was like, the last dude, he just got ran through real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hopefully we got some hopefuls uh this week, man. How many you wish wishing for? See, how many you wishing for? Hopefully one. No, I'm saying how many you wishing for? You you supposed to say, I wish everybody would find love. That's what you supposed to say. That's just not an idea for depending on people's intentions. But I hope at least one match. But I at least at least we get one. Hopefully we get one match. But at least two, but hopefully one. <laughs> like, but I don't know. I have to get a feel of each person. Because some people do be on here just for their moment. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you, man. But, hey, with that being said, before we get into it, man, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go, man. You want to first support, all you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Like it with a thumbs up. Well, highly appreciate it, man. But let's dive into it. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Join the fun. Because we on the road to what? 300K by the end of the year. So, if you are not subscribed, we need you to subscribe. Please we just need it. you to hit it, hit it, hit it, spank it, tap it, whatever. Just smack that thing for us man <laughs> but also if you want to be a part of the realest family man also we got a discord link in the description yes we do hopefully hopefully It'll i remember hopefully i remember to put it there I remember. if not y'all get on my top and i'll make sure i get it there for you but you ready see yeah I'm ready, ready? Mm-hmm. you hit you hesitant right there i'm just saying i'm ready baby let go please, please Security, top flight. With the world, huh? <laughs> Not just the city. With the world, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to do his dug in. <laughs> Twelve that thing did. You say yeah, hoop dreams. <laughs> All over got hoop dreams. Look at him. He used uh, to shooting dice. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome liquor. back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise, guys. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you guys all sounded the same. <laughs> so we're going to be bringing out some single women one by one. When she comes around this corner, if she's your type, you know, outfit, hair, makeup, everything looks good and you're feeling it. Do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything you're not a fan of, whatever it may be, your preference, if you're not liking it, go ahead and pop that balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Sandra. Sandra, how old are you? Sandra. 
39. I okay. had to think about that. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I'm 38. I'll be 39 in November. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. The nerves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, Sandra, what do you do? I am a phlebotomist. Um, I recently um, got into a lead position, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years. Wow. Um, and I don't mean to say, um, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years, but I also travel as an independent contractor as well. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are some things I could do for fun? For fun, I like to do, mm, you can hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry. So for fun, I like to do anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay. So recently I tried kayaking on my, my own. Mm -hmm. So that was different for me. So like anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Uh, some things that I do look for in a man is um, a man that's going to prioritize me in the relationship, a man that's going to allow me to rest in my femininity, a man that doesn't... Um, you said what? I said, where's she from? Contra. Contra. <laughs> it's got to be for the South, man. Oh, no, no. Excuse me. Oh, I'm speaking of everything that I do want. It's the AIDS. <laughs> Good girl, let's just go she, meet some people. Let's she get, she get up there, hey, Josh. She's like, I'll, I'll forgive my. Girl, hold on, I'm nervous, child. I'll forgive my oh, head if it weren't attached to. So yeah, a man that prioritizes me in the relationship, a man that allows me to rest in my femininity, a guy that's just going to shower me with gifts and love <laughs> and just everything great. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Some deal breakers are... Shower with gifts ain't necessarily mean you got to go out of out the wazoo, out the pocket. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some flowers, some chocolate. Some perfume, like, uh, a meal. Shoo, food. Honey, because I love to eat. Every woman okay. loves to eat, man. So you as long know, as you... just any little thing. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, a gifts love can be... A letter, a note, a card. Like, yeah. just anything. It don't mean, it, it don't mean like, you got to break the bank, bruh. Yeah, but anyway. I would have to say a guy that does not prioritize me. Um, a guy that has a wandering eye. Mm. Uh, and what else? Uh, I mean, that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we did get a couple of pops. Let's Yo, go we... on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start right here with your name and age. Uh, Hubert, and I'm 37. And Hubert. Hubert, what do you do? I'm a software. In, I'm in software sales. Yep. Very cool. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, one, I have a child. My son is my first priority. Uh, mm. So when someone says they want me to prioritize them, that's a red flag for me. But also, uh, gifts isn't my love language to give. Like mm. I, don't, I don't believe in showering people with gifts. I feel like that's earned. Um, and if you're my partner, and I've and I feel, you know motivated to do so i will do so but like if that's what you come in like i want to be showered with gifts wrong guy okay. yep got it now um is he someone that's your type uh he could be he could be but i truly believe if i was your woman you would want to shower with me with gifts possibly mm -hmm. <laughs> all right let's go to our next pop sure. balloon all right if we can start with your name and age i'm johnny i'm 38 and johnny what do you do I am a traffic control man. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer. I do a whole lot of stuff. Okay, cool. What you mean by artist? I hope he ain't still trying to rap. Now they're 38 with them uh, teardrops. Gotta think about them young man decisions, man. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, like, I know my priorities. I I, yeah, I, 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 why are you sitting I there talking about, yeah, you going to want to pop that balloon, go, bro? Like, do what you want to do. Don't let nobody, no, no, let me, let me just. I mean, my priorities is my kids. I'm a single father, so I got to, you know what I mean? You feel me? Okay. You feel me? <laughs> you got to put the kids first. Yes. All righty. But have you ever heard the saying, if you take care of yourself first, then you could take care of everyone else? That so part, you, you wouldn't prioritize your, yourself first, then your I do. woman? Then my your kids. kids. going to be your priority, period. Bingo. Right. Well, so it's everything. not, it shouldn't be a competition between your children and your you. You feisty. Wife. No, I'm not fighting like it. I'm it. just saying. I like it. Continue. <laughs> no, I was done. Finish. <laughs> All right. So now, is he someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? I just know. I, I, Rough. 
I can't mm. really say. I it might be the tattoo on the face. Okay. That's giving Indeed. me like yeah. street it's vibes. Time. It is. <laughs> okay. you, can't, you can't get mad at it when that's what it means though I don't think he got mad but he was just like I mean you know that's what it, that's mean, what it you mean, mean though you know what I'm saying so you gotta think about like that's why they always say when you're young think about the decisions you make cause you're gonna have to live with a lot of stuff You the decisions yeah. you make in life especially tattoos tattoos are forever so when you put that stuff on your on your body your face you might Definitely be teen. Ten years down the line, you might be like, "Damn, what the fuck are I do?" Like definitely your face and like your neck and stuff like that. And you know what somebody gonna say in the comments? Well, you know they got laser removal. Well, because I, you know, because I always say that, but everyone doesn't even like want to go through that or. Cause you know, I heard it's you know, more whatever, painful. Whatever the case. And it leaves scarring. So, what's the purpose? You know. I'm just saying. It's I mean, everybody like got a past vibes. though, like. But right, I'm, right. I'm very positive. I'm a optimistic person. Okay. But. I understand. Sure. Cool. Thank you. Let's head on back. And we did get a pop back here. If we can start off with your name and age. Uh, my name is La Forty. Okay. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur, investor, you know. Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. And <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just because she said start it off with like shower you with gifts and things. No, because totally She didn't like start said, with that's, that though. That's earned. I'm not a selfish person. I do give people gifts, but you couldn't, shouldn't come expecting it at first, you know? And I also have- I'm gonna say this, most women do expect to be, if that's one they love languages is gift giving. They expect like, hey, I, I will love. And that's, honestly, I'll just say this, ask her like to elaborate on that before you pop, decide like, hey, what do you really mean by gifts? And she, and she be like, oh, you know, it's just say, you come home and you just say, hey, I got you these flowers because I was thinking about you. Or, babe, I, I got you your favorite candy bar because when I went in the store, I just didn't think about it. That's what she mean, like, prioritize me. Like, go through your day today with me on your mind so you might come across something. Say, say for instance, like, when I go to the gas station sometimes. Okay. I'm just saying, like, when I go to the gas station sometimes, I'll be like, and I come home, she'll be like, oh. But it's, it's the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I just didn't think about myself. I'm also thinking about you. It's the set, like, like, a lot of people forget Sometimes it's the simplest thing. It's not about spending three, four hundred dollars on a bag or something like that, you know. But trust me, women do want that too, <laughs> especially once you once you're in that commitment with it. What would you? Would you, yeah, yeah. you ain't like when I said that. About what? No, no. I have oh. two children. That's gonna be like the number one priority until you know they're of age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, is he someone that's your type? Um, he's physically fit. But again, the tattoos. I mean, I got a tattoo, but I only have one. I'm not really attracted to the guys with a lot of tattoos. Okay. All right. Cool. And then we did get a few more pops. Let's start here with this your dude, name. Dre is going to be a problem. My name is Micah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm th uh, 42. 42. And Micah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a networking engineer. In the cybersecurity field. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, I ended up popping because just uh, the energy, I don't think I was kind of gravitating to it. Okay. So I just decided to pop. Okay. Yeah. I see. I cool. See. So is Micah someone that you would go for? No. Okay. Why not? I'll see. Uh, I guess this height. Okay. Just a little. But I've dated short guys before, but. I, I just don't feel attraction. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Brian, 38. And Brian, what do you do? I do, I'm an IT. I do IT. Um, I'm also a personal trainer. Very cool. Yeah. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, she seemed a little managed to me, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I get that little managed vibe from her. Um, then I got tattoos too, so that's another thing. But I mean, I just get. You get managed vibes? Well, hold on. I'm what do? Because when we used to use manage back in the. <laughs> what I used to use. I don't see manage. Manage? You talking about like manage? Like manage? Like manage? Like you. I didn't. I mean, I don't know. I didn't get those vibes, but. I didn't give manage vibes at all. Like, are we talking about like tomboys manage? Or are yeah. we talking about, or like how your grandma could stop being managed? 
as being overly like flirtatious and stuff. Cause you know, grand, some grandparents you be like, yeah, you out there being like, managed. You be like, yeah. ain't nobody being managed. Yeah, you already being fast in the ass. But we, I ain't get that either. Yeah. So, so, I, so is he saying like a little like instead of or saying bossy? A, like yeah, is he like instead of saying like bossy or aggressive, that ain't, you just say that's not, like I don't know. I don't know. He could be from somewhere where they. Yeah. That's the term they use. Get that little managed vibe. I mean, I'm cool. You know, I'm. You know, I, I like that. You know, she's she pretty, you know, but it's a little mannish. Mannish. Do you know Man-ish. what he means by that? Can you elaborate? I can elaborate. Basically, she basically she likes to take control. I can tell she likes to take control. Okay, okay. And That's what I'm the guy that likes to take control, of, you know, in my relationship. I just think the term mannish is, is the incorrect term to use. Yeah, I wouldn't have used mannish. Yeah, I wouldn't use that term. But unless that's... A, 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 yeah. Wherever he's from, that's the term they like to use. But uh, you could have said just come over like more over overpowering or uh, her demeanor. I'm not rocking with her demeanor. Like you know what I'm saying. Come or even just the simple term bossy or just you know. Chip, you know I lead, so you know, and that's just what it is. Okay, okay. Now is he someone that's your type? Uh... Should talk to him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you had to think about that for a bit. What makes him not your type? Uh, the fact that what he said. Okay. Because um, I, I don't think I like to take control. I like for my man to be in control. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Dig it another pop down okay. here. Let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad. I'm 38. And uh, Chad, what do you do? Short. I own a mobile pet care business. Okay. Right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? The first thing I heard was being showered with gifts. The second thing was when you said, oh boy, down the way, it was too short and we're eye to eye. I figured I'm in the same boat as him. So, yeah. Okay. All righty. So now is he someone that's your type? Like, <laughs> just, hey, he's being hopeful. <laughs> he's like, um, no. Mm-mm. Okay. And why not? Why not for him? Just no attraction. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. All right. So you ain't attracted nobody in line. I, I I think I would know her attraction, and I I I can sum it up. Even the way she presented herself, I could just tell this lineup is not for her. She's looking for a guy, a suited guy to me, a tall suited guy, you know, mm-hmm. um, a career career field, you know what I'm saying, and a, that's what is that's what I'm picking up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, tall slimmer, huh? I said, has everyone popped up on? Not a uh, country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call him country, but uh, not country right here. Uh, but yeah, that's I could just tell that's what that's a, like. She's looking for a professional guy, mm-hmm. like a certain image, and yeah, that's, that's what, what she looks. Yeah. yeah, and she doesn't see it, so it is. Yeah. And, and typically, because reason why I said that for one, she said tall. To everybody like height wise. She said she normally doesn't go for like tattoos. Tattoos, she wants to clean, clean cut. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Let's go over to our last unpopped balloon. Let's start with your name and age. I'm Danny, 38. Pop your balloon, Danny, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. (laughs) Okay, very cool. So you do have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I mean, she's very beautiful. I was trying to figure out a little more about her. You know, I'm not scared of none of them standards and nothing like that. But, I mean... It's just really on her, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what she really about. Because, you know, everybody want to be shy with gifts. Everybody want, you know, to show, be shown that they are cared for. That's why I took that ass. But what are you going to do in return, you know, or to earn that? Not quid pro quo. What am I going to do in return? Mm, I don't know if I like that. You ain't got to like it. I'm just saying. she country as hell. <laughs> Cause I'm seeing quit her clothes. I don't like shine folk with gifts without Pop your balloon, my guy. She ain't into you. Lady with gifts. Look, it is it's about my little language is like but reassurance. Everybody is zeroing in on me saying shower and gifts. That's the first thing you said. I also mentioned sweetheart. resting in my femininity as well. Well, let me tell you something. So the reason why they the priority. reason why they said that is because you didn't provide something like, like what you do for a man for because that's easy to say any woman can come out here and say yo give me some gifts and i can bust out the bank card and be like wow you know what i'm saying but like what makes you 
like worthy to receive that other than you just being fine well she's saying if she's if she's your woman you should want it ain't the fact that as soon as I meet you, I want you to shower me with gifts. I think wherever. they, I think they can, uh, like. But this is new, new day and age we live in too. It's the the mindset of a lot of people, man. Yeah, but these folks ain't even young. They Speaking, talk your shit. See? No, I just said they not even that young to even be like having that mindset to think they should already like. But these are these are the ages of a lot of men that are online telling telling these young men how they should. Uh, the little uh relationship gurus. It's it's their yeah. age group. Yeah, yeah. It ain't it ain't ours or younger. It's, it's they. It's the age group on there to t- tell every. But all y'all got kids and and uh baby mamas. But all y'all up here single. So uh, ain't none of y'all getting it right though. If and when you become my man, you would know, and I would be your woman, and that's in every sense. So. Like what? Pop your balloon, <laughs> God. What does that mean? Like, <laughs> and let's move on. Yeah. Like, you what wanna... does being my woman mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, mean? that means giving you support, giving you, you know, nurturing you when you need, you know, when you need to, um, just loving you with a pure heart. How old are you again? I'm 38. Okay, we're the same age. All right, where you stay? I live in Wisconsin, Wisconsin? but I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. she don't give How about you? At all, I'm bro. from Georgia. Georgia, okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. Not to me. Not to me. My understanding. Yeah. Nah. Are you <laughs> thinking of a question or what are you doing? You just staring. I'm asking something. I'm asking something. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. Like, so throughout the relationships, you're 38. You don't been in multiple relationships, right? So, what's something that you learned in your past relationships that you can put into your future relationship to make it last longer? Something I've learned from my past relationships. Uh, you know, I as would you have, as a person, you know as, what I'm saying? They help you grow as a person and say, okay, I I'm going to take this say, into my next relationship and it's going to last longer. I would have to say it would have to be patience. I've had to work, you know, on my patience over the years. Um, and I've learned to take my time. What, what do you want from Are her? good? Please pop your balloon. She fine. She just seemed like a lot, though. It's like what? <laughs> every woman, every woman is a work. No, no relationship is. I, I say this: you're never gonna go into a relationship and it's perfect. Every relationship has its ups and downs. It's, it's struggle, struggles and turmoil. If if relationships are supposed to be perfect, there would never be a divorce. A lot of people give up, don't want to work through certain things or other things. You know what I'm saying? But. Yo, is if if it's meant for be for you, you'll be willing to work through it. You know what I'm saying? Work to get. Oh, she just seemed like it's gonna be a lot. What you want somebody that you could just walk over? Something just easy. Yeah, if you want that, just go That's get you I'm a little young from, young tenderoni that you that you gonna trick on. And not every young girl, not every young girl. We're gonna do that. We'll do that. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of. Them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And not everyone. So I, I'm just saying with like bunching yeah. up everybody together. But yeah. <laughs> what is it just seemed like you know what I'm saying like well can I ask him a question yeah ask me something alright so on the scale of 1 to 10 and you can't use 7 um, <laughs> how important how important is it to you that your next relationship ends in marriage ooh that's a good one that's a good one that's let a good me be honest with you I don't want to even get into a relationship unless it can unless I see it I'm alright well you're here for love so well that's what my, be honest with, with you Pop the balloon. My grandmother dude. just passed, right? So, so I appreciate it. But I seen my granddaddy stay by her side or she was by his side till she could no longer be there. So if I can't envision you being old next to me, I'm not even really going to give you no energy. To be honest with you, I can give you all the energy of the world or I could just Where your daddy you is? We always Ooh. talk about grandparents. Where That's you know what your daddy and your mama? So... Okay, well, right. we, we got to make a choice. Are you popping or are we walking up there and t- making a match? Just pop. Please. What you want to do? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> come on. So, oh, I can hear it now. What what you say? All right, <laughs> come on. Why are you hesitant? No, I'm not hesitant. She's I'm not. To figure out what's it like because. Come nah. on, let's walk up here. Okay. Come on, come on, come oh. on, come on. We got to walk back. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> 
I'll stand, stand over here. Not this be the uh, first yeah. match. All right. This is seemed like an investment. That's a relationship. That is a relationship. Is investment. Investment. I'm saying it's gonna be a mutual fund. What what's so crazy nowadays is everybody wants to be in a partnership but also lead. Like, now nah, I lead this relationship. I wear the pants, but is but we do everything. We we do everything fifty fifty. But I'm I'm the, I'm the man. I, I run things around here, but don't forget it's fifty fifty. <laughs> and everybody, well, I see my grandparents. You know what I'm saying? Well, what you see your dad do? I don't know my daddy. All right, what you see your mom go through? Because those are the direct effects of your life. Even, Unless your grandparents raise you. And, and not even, but then that's still, you got low-key little trauma behind that. But go. I was about to say, not even just that, the fact that you see your grandparents, you know, stay together or whatever. But you don't see the, you don't see the bad. You don't see the ugly most times. Yeah. You don't see all of that. You know what I'm saying? For them to even get to this point, to stay together. Yeah. You don't, like... Normally, you only see the good, or you see the end, or you know the outcome of, of mm. things, but you don't never see the hell that people had to go through. Y'all not willing to go through that with with your partner or whoever you choose to be with. Like it, like it takes work. It takes a lot of work. It Facts. takes it takes more than just like man. I better call the main song. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I personally I wouldn't I wouldn't go with it because you you too hesitant for me. You too. Like, or if she just wanted to wanted to leave with somebody. I don't I don't know. What Cause it then is. that said a lot about her characteristics too. I don't know what it is, but no, thank you. I'm good. Yeah, that's so what your relationship your, is. Hmm. You'll come to me, nigga. Shut the oh. fuck up on them. Talking about some nah. Shut the fuck up. Like, damn. That's so what your, a relationship your, is. Yeah. Hmm. You'll come to me, and I got to come to you. You with long distance and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm open to long distance. I'm clingy. Are you? Yeah, I'm talking about I wrap around you like a spider web. <laughs> He's just looking at something fuck on. I'm done. I cannot <laughs> take him serious. <laughs> and for that, Any I'm final questions? Well. Are you going to pop, or are you are you going to stay with her? Well, take your ass on, bro. You can head on back. You got your five seconds of fame, man. Come on. And everything. Right. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Yes. Yes. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's Absolutely. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Thank you so much. I was canceled. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Crystal, how old are you? I'm 39. And what do you do? I'm a senior level uh, medical coordinator. Very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to cook. Um, I love um, learning new recipes. I'm getting into outdoor cooking nice. and grilling. Um, I love spending time with family. Um, I love traveling and I love wine tasting. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, in a man, I just need someone that's loyal, mm. um, good with communication, um, have a relationship with God, um, as well as big on family as well. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breaker is a man that don't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say a man that's not good with communication. Um a man that smokes cigarettes, mm. and a man that has cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, you All got right, cats? So we did get a few pops. <laughs> going over there. He so probably says smokes cigarettes. Let's start here with your name and age. What? I would say he does the pet grooming. Oh, uh, he, he does pet do trap, pets. Whatever, yes. something. He got mobile, a, mobile, a mobile, mobile pet grooming. Oh, uh, yeah. So he might do so have he cats. he probably have cats or around him a lot or something. A lot of people don't like cats, though. Me, I don't like cats. Hey, to each his own. Uh, Hubert, uh, 37. Okay. And Hubert, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially coming around the corner, not physically attracted, um, so I don't want to like waste her time or mine. So, okay. yeah. Got it, got it. Now, is Hubert someone that's your type? Yes, very well dressed and fit, look like he's in fitness, so yeah. Right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then we did get one down over here. All right, let's start with your name and age. 
Name's Chad. I'm 38. Nigga, what y'all be down there popping once behind my, somebody's back? I don't mean no disrespect, but no, let me, let me know. And Chad, why did you end up popping your balloon? I have a fat cat at my house, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> not the cat. Yeah, so I know it's not going to work for you. Okay, not a problem. Got it. Now, before she said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I just wanted to hear a little more about her. She has a beautiful smile. I just wanted to see what the deal was, but she canceled me, so. <laughs> Okay. Or my cat, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? I know the cat, but yeah. apart from that. <laughs> yes, very well put together, clean cut. Seemed like he really into self-care. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. All right, let's head on back right here. We did get a pop. Let's get your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Okay. And Johnny, why did you pop your balloon? I mean, I'm into like more taller female. Okay. I mean, she's gorgeous. And she looked like she got a good spirit and whatnot. And yeah, I hope she found what she's looking for. <laughs> you feel me? Now, is Johnny someone that's your type? Um, I mean, I love his personality. He seemed very charming, so yeah. Okay. Cool. Indeed. Thank you. And we got another one right here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Brian from DC. I'm 38. Okay. And Brian, why did you pop your balloon? Just not really my type, you know what I mean? Physically, um, you know, I'm on her teeth. She got a little um, lipstick on. I peep that, and then I actually get to walk on the way, and I see a little pedicure could be a little better on the bottom of her feet. But other than that, um, that's just it. Not my type. Okay. All right. Now is that uh, from that? Well, that one, ain't a little bad. From the, I guess you gotta get real close. I guess to I gotta see from the back. If I, if I see from the back, then maybe. Oh, uh, maybe the, maybe the heels. Maybe, maybe the heels. Maybe the heels. He's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she's gotta find a new uh, nail lady. <laughs> Nail tech, they're gonna get in there with the <laughs> cracks and crannies, huh? Brian, someone that you Oh yeah, most definitely. He's um well put together as well. Um, seem like he's very ambitious and know what he's looking for. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And right here, let's start with your name and age. My name is Micah, and I'm 42. Micah, why did you pop your balloon? I popped my balloon just just because, because the nigga besides the you. physical attraction wasn't there. Yeah. But you look really nice, though. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Now, is Micah someone that's your type? Oh, my God. They all are nice. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, I would say he's very well put together. Mm -hmm. You guys really put it together tonight. And um, self-care is a plus. So, yeah, I like the trim. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then one more down over here. Even your people, name you know? and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Lob40. Um. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. But I don't think the aura like did it for me. Like, and bring it in. And also, you said a man of God. I'm not an atheist or nothing, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm not in church every Sunday or you know. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to disappoint you on Sunday. <laughs> well, <laughs> when it comes to that, I said a man that has God involved in his life. Right. Not saying you have to go to church every Sunday, but I, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We did give one more down over oh. here. He hung on to the last minute. <laughs> he gonna always hang right, on to the last minute. Your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Danny, I'm 38. It's just uh, she's very beautiful, very beautiful, very well put together, very nice smile. It's just the distance. Where you say you was from? I'm in Houston. Yeah, I'm not about to travel all the way up like that. <laughs> But nigga, you were just about to travel to Wisconsin. I ain't listening to nutty folks. All the folks are capping ass uh, niggas. Bro, you was you was cool with doing long distance. Up here playing. Houston can Where he said where he from? Georgia. I'm finna just do Houston to Atlanta. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. Houston to I don't know. I'm gonna just do that. Uh, it's eleven hours, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Say Atlanta to Milwaukee. Twelve hours. Shut the fuck up, please. Shut the fuck up. Two hour flight. Shut the fuck up, bro. Where are you? Atlanta. Oh, okay. I love Atlanta. I go there often. But okay. You know, be cool. Yeah. Right. So now, is he someone that's your type? Yes. Cool, smooth daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, I smooth love, daddy. I um, love the boots and the belt. Seem like he can get on the grill with me. But okay. All right. 
Right. I know so a lot of people back. like him back home, don't we? <laughs> All right, so that is all Woo! of the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we Very do thank country. you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Johiko Rodriguez. Johiko? Yes. Okay, and how old are you? I am 39 years old. And what do you do? I, I am a dedicated and passionate social worker, and I also have several businesses. I Hello, also um, own an event planning and hosting business, nice. and I also do an intimate fitness courses. Okay. <laughs> do she got on a blazer? Hmm? I'm saying, do she got on a blazer? I'm saying her fit. I was like, do she got on a blazer? <laughs> you are busy. Yeah. She, it's, it's now, style what are different. some things I could do for fun? Um, well, I try to travel at least once or twice a month, if not every other month. I just came from Aruba last weekend. I'm Ooh. here this weekend. Who knows where I'm going to be next weekend? Okay. Um, I'm a social. I, I'm a social butterfly, so I like to be in social settings. So anything that involves karaoke, happy hour, day parties, okay. things of that nature. We work hard, so you know we got to play, play hard. hard. She uh -huh. in the streets. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first it's compatibility. Mm -hmm. Um, exterior definitely is important. I love a guy that looks good, mm -hmm. but the interior matters more like your character and you know, like who you are as a person. Yeah. Um, I love someone that's fun and energetic and social like me. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers. I don't do addiction. So if you're addicted to porn, only fans, gambling, I do none of that. Um, lying, um, someone who's judgmental. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so we did get a pop. Let's what go on over there, said? see why they ended up Gambling. popping. Gambling. All right, Only if we can fans. have your name and age. I'm Brian, 38, from good, DC. Brian? How you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good, good. Um, All right, Brian, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, she, physically, she's not my type. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, nah, he's he's not my type. <laughs> because he, because he saw us though when she came. He said, "Yeah, yeah." It took you to, to, if you're not my type right off bat, I'm gonna go ahead and pop. I'm not gonna wait to see what you gotta say. Yeah, yeah. It don't even matter to me. But, true, yeah. true. Okay, got that's it, okay. Got it. Now, is uh, Brian someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. And why not? Um, I'm more into someone that just dresses a little bit more. I mean, I'm, I, I want someone that dresses diverse, um, but just someone that for this occasion, I think you should come with your best impression. So, um, yeah, that's it. But you're, you're a very good looking guy. I'm not going to lie. Nice height. I like the size of the jeans. You look good. Appreciate you. No problem. Right, let's go to our next pop balloon here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 58. Okay. And Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm just into uh, more like taller girl, okay. why not? But you're gorgeous. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. All right. Now is Johnny your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. <laughs> why not? Um, just the wardrobe. Yeah. Just looking at the exterior. I haven't heard anything from you yet, so yeah. you know I can't say too much. But just from looking on the outside, I just feel again, you know, being that this is a dating show, mm -hmm. um, you know, you got to come with your best. Indeed, I yeah. understand. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. And we did get one pop back here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, my name is Mike. I'm 42, and uh, the reason. Mike. How you doing? I'm good. And yourself? Doing good. Thanks. Okay. So the reason I popped was just the the attraction wasn't there for me. Okay. Physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Was there something specific? Uh, really not specific. Just not the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Well, you stuttering too much. Right. Now is Mike Can't get them lies out. Yeah, <laughs> actually, Mike would be someone that's my type. Um, very nice looking. I love someone that's super well groomed. The beard is looking on point. Hair is on point. Yeah, the aesthetics. I'm here for it. I appreciate that. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. And then we did get. One down here. Let's head on over here. All it's right, your tonight. name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danny, hey, 38. Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Chohiko. Chohiko. Yes. Well, I'm big on, you know, Lying. having a type, <laughs> you know, and then she described her type pretty much to the T, and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you got to do a dash about me. Wow. and. 
if you ain't willing to do that because I ain't your type, then it's all good. Well, who told you you weren't my type? You did with your discretion. Okay. With her what? With her, with her what? Discretion. Let's hear it all again. <laughs> you did with your discretion. <laughs> with your discretion. With your discretion. You told me. <laughs> I'm country too. But, but nah, that that that's a <laughs> that's a whole different level, yo. We talk against this kitchen, <laughs> Mister. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, but do you billionaire Danny? But can you read that description <laughs> in that country? <laughs> okay, it's all good. All right, so now is he your type? Yeah, he is somebody that would be my type. Yeah, very well dressed. You came with the collared shirt on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love me some Chelsea boots. You came dressed for the occasion. You look good. Got a clean cut. I'm not really with the shades at night, you know, but I can see through them. So as long as I can see your eyes and you don't have hater blockers on, it's all good. So I actually would. Yeah, he's my type. Okay. Let's head on back. You should what take you that back. What's... Then what's up? Uh-oh. Oh. I'm saying. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't listen to that, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Arletta already oh, understand. Right. Uh-huh. So we do have three balloons Please, left on no. pops. She, I'm going to go ahead and like, he ain't ask the material. remaining guys a question just to help you narrow it down, yeah, see like who's it. more of your match. Okay. So I guess I would first ask you guys, um, where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name is La I'm 40. Um, What's I'm your base- name? I'm sorry. Excuse me? Your name? La. La? Okay. Yeah. La la. Nice um, pretty much I'm an entrepreneur. Nigga, what's your mama name you? Lionel. That was probably a little something though. Yeah, it is probably a little something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about law. No, no. I'm an investor. Uh I'm into fitness at uh, a uh, university, Body State University, and also a restaurant, Supreme Empanada in New York City. Okay. Where are you Thank from? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age, and the answer to her question. Uh, Hubert. My age is Hubert. 37. <laughs> uh, I'm in software sales, and I have a podcast. Okay, nice to meet you, Hubert. Real Life's podcast. podcast. We have one more down over here. They ain't, ain't nobody saying where they from. Oh, am I, I'm just missing it. She I, asked, no, she asked, where are you from? Well, the, the first dude, he said he does something. Did he say something about he said he, he said he got a restaurant in New York. That's so what I said. just assumed that maybe that's where he from, maybe. But I don't think the second. Yeah, let's see. Okay, nice to meet you, Hubert. Likewise. Okay. We have one more down over here. All right, your name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Chad. I'm 38, and I own a mobile pet care business. Oh, cute. Nice to meet you, Chad. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. All right. Okay. Okay, let's head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and hand you a pig. <laughs> there you go. Pop a balloon. Yeah, so out of these three guys. Because I understand why she's, she's like, where are, you, where are you from? Because that can also help me narrow it down. Like, say, for instance, like, like we always say, I'm in California, you in New York. And somebody else is here uh, in Texas. I might be w- more willing to go for the Texas because it's a lesser mm. distance I'm in between sorry, the two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. I couldn't ask a question first. No, next round. <laughs> These two people only. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> That's Is nice. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Wow. That's trouble. Oh God. <laughs> she said that's trouble. <sighs> okay. Look. Well, he popped his. He popped. Let's come Let's on go. over here. Oh, she's so why do we end up popping Hubert? Uh, if I'm uh, what's his name, Chad? I'm popping mine because you you was coming my way. Um, the hesitation, like I need my woman to be like know what she want and make the decision. Also, um, there are a few things aesthetically One that I don't like. <laughs> um, I'm not really big on like weave and if I can see a braid. Nigga, you why the fuck you ain't? Y'all some weirdo ass nigga. My bad. I'm getting too passionate about it. But they weird. They are irritating me though. The whole lineup. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The entire lineup. I'm sorry. Y'all, this is how I am even when we watch this show together. Yeah, I'll be like, 10 times worse. Yeah, I'll really yeah, yeah. be having to like go and get myself together because I just be like, bro, you really. But no, nah, I'm like, bro, y'all like he say he he has a podcast, 
after this, I'm gonna check out his podcast just to see what he what he what he, he on mentally he on. Uh, and then like, like the I can see the bump in the back. Um, the braids. Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> what's up with the tearing down of women? The what? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Well. <laughs> Is oh. Hubert someone that's your type? I know you had a little hesitation. Yeah, when... no. I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, I, just again based on the exterior because I haven't heard. What's anything the tearing from him down yet. of women nowadays, um, bro? The dress code, yes. Uh, the demeanor on the facials—it's just giving. I don't want to be here. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably. He's yeah, his demeanor does. You know what like, it is? He or... signed up for this so he can be able to give exposure to his podcast. That's what it really is. It's a business move. You ain't here to like with the head thrown back, the rolling of the eyes. Very, very, like like, very nonchalant. Like I'm ready for it to be over. You could have stayed at home. Very sassy behavior, but uh. But yeah. And then you then you saw Kiki in with other dudes telling them to pop their balloons and stuff. Like that's very much so. As a how old he say he was, thirty seven, thirty eight. I think he's 37. Seven. I know the dude next to him 40. 40. Yeah. But I th- and I think he's 38 or 39. I, th- I think yeah, he's 37. So they are, they up, up there. there. But you too childish. You have a very immature mindset. And even the people around you, if you letting another man basically make the decision S- sway, for you, sway you a, yeah. yeah, that's a problem for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, I'll go ahead and have you ask the two guys a question that are left. Um, speaking of I ain't aesthetics. looking for no wife. How are you guys when it comes to like your women and um, consistency? I know some guys don't like a woman that changes a lot. You know, they want her to stay in shape. If she gains weight, they lose interest. Because personally, I'm someone that I, when it comes to my hair, I change it a <laughs> lot. I have no braids, to be honest. I actually have a shortcut under here, but my hair is down my back. Um, but I've done different type of things with my hair. I am always changing. So how comfortable are you with the consistency of like, how your women changes her hair or, you know, her gaining weight, losing weight? Um, as far as your hair, that's your hair. That's, hair don't make you, so it don't matter to me. Okay. Um, gaining weight and stuff. I'm going to try to look good for you, so you got to always look good for me, you know? So I wouldn't want you to gain, like, 40, 30 pounds. I'm going to say, baby, let's go get in the gym. Let's go get it together, you know what I'm saying? But if you reluctant, then I might be out of there. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Let's go down over there. I'm gonna go ahead and answer a question. Uh, that would be no problem for me. I think that uh, I just drew, drew a blank right now. Uh, <laughs> that okay. that would be no problem for me. I'd actually would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking a different way. Uh, as far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. <laughs> and the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even you know, gaining weight. I, I, I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great. but um, Well, I'm asking because, you know, I ha- I mean, I don't I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't. I, I, you want to take it off? Don't it. Just go take it off? I mean, oh I mean, you know, oh, the hair I mean, why can't I? Be gorgeous. So, with or without, you still look good. You still look good. You still look good. Yeah. So, should I keep it off or? Okay. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> That's when you gotta Damn prove a nigga he, wrong, yeah, bro. She looks gorgeous. And now he's sitting over. The... <laughs> I can see the braids. Like, you can't see shit. Y'all just be making up stuff. And, Think y'all know something. And also, real shit, if, if a woman ain't slandering you, bro, you ain't got to give it. It's like, I, I got to try to one-up you before you try to tear me down. Like, bro, like, like also, can we just go back to the, like, like you ain't got to tear people down, no, bro. We too grown. Now, I expect, like, we in high school, that's how we flirt. Or in middle school, that's how you flirt yeah, with girls. School, you be like, bro. oh, your, your head too big. Because <laughs> yeah, you like the girl. Cause you don't know another way to express that you like, you know. But at at forty, at forty, bro, come on, bro, can we stop it, man? Yeah, lost the earring. Um, but yeah, so that's why I asked because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. I have super long hair. I do all types of things, and typically I do natural. Well, you know, I came on the show today, so I was like, all right, let me try to do a little something. But this is this is me, so I just want to make sure you're okay with. Me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Let's head on back. I, Let's I head had on to back. do it. No, you look probably, good. He you probably good. did it for faces. <laughs> he probably what even brain? more attracted like, to it now. What brains, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, just shut, shut up. Okay, so our two remaining guys, any questions for our beautiful lady here? You got kids. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Here we go. You got a question over here? Let's go over here. Yeah. You have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so mm. I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex-husband. We do 50-50, so whoever my partner is, he honestly doesn't. The, a week, my kids are gone. <laughs> a week, they come back with me. So uh, uh. they have a very active father. So that wouldn't be a concern if that is a concern, because that tends to be a concern at times. <laughs> you want more kids? I'm open to more kids, yeah. Yeah, I snap back. Okay. I mean, we end up popping. I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, Nigga, she said, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do men not listen? I mean, like, proactively listen to words. Because we run into this every time the guys are in the lineup. Do we listen? He, she said, you asked her, are you open to more kids? Right, go ahead. She go. said that, hold on, I'm, I'm Let talking about Let me say what I'm about to no, say. No, hold on. She said, I'm open to it, but that doesn't mean if you, she said basically for whoever her partner is, mm -hmm. if you want more kids, that's open, open for consideration. Right. Yes, we can yes, have that conversation. Yes. We can talk. Yes. But if you don't want kids, I'm okay with, I'm okay with it because I have my own three beautiful kids that I already have to myself. So we already have my offspring. But in, say, for instance, if you don't have any kids and you were willing to, because I'm willing to bear a, a gift for my husband in the form of a child. Because what would be, like, on her end, it's like, who 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 am I to deprive you of what you, or something you... Like, if I'm going to, right, if I'm going to, like, get in a partnership with someone and you don't have kids, or even if you do have kids and you want more kids, it'll be, like, we can have that conversation beforehand, but it'll be selfish of me later on to be like... No, I'm good. I don't, you know, whatever the case may be. Yeah. But she said she's open to it because you ask us in the, like, if someone asks me that, I'm going to be like, oh, they must want kids or they they must, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm open to it. Like, it's I'm not going to shut it down. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I want more, child. I'm just saying I'll give you one if you want. I'm not like opposed said, to it. I'm not opposed to it because like she said, I snap back quick. So, I mean, ain't no problem, but. She like, I got, I got three. I know how my body works. Yeah. Are y'all okay? Comprehension, baby. I've been married 11 years. We don't know the reason for the divorce, but obviously it was cordial enough where they have a good co-parenting relationship. Right. You, she's not asking for you to step in and be a father. Yeah. She just already gave you, hey, like, hey, I'm not looking for a, for a father for my kids. They have a present father. And They're with him half of the time. They with me half of the time. I'm looking kids. for I'm looking for a partner, someone I can spend the rest right. of my life with. Bro, she has the right headspace, bro. Yeah. I'm open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, I do have three. But Slow. that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more, neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's mm. not a it's not a need for me. I already have three. But for example, I'm open to it if the, my partner wants it. Oh. Uh, it, ooh. I'm not open though. <laughs> and that's okay. fine. And that's what I'm telling I got you. Two kids, yeah, that's you know cool. That's cool with Just me. Fuck them kids after that. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know about. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna hold you. Not you only, honestly, you don't, don't even want to. You don't want to be with him anyway because even if you got kids, what he just said was fuck them kids like, after that. They ain't that. my kids. They ain't my kids. I wouldn't even take care of. If you are with someone, they have kids. You do have to play a present role in their lives as well because you be cannot be. Yeah, like. And then he has two of his own. So yeah. it's like. So now we could just be a blended family. We ain't got to be. Come on now. <sighs> As for kids. <laughs> but I'm totally open. If I don't need to have any more. I understand. But I'm open to it if my partner is. But I, I respect it. Okay. Any questions down over here? Let's head on over here. Any questions? Where do you live? I live in Florida. Fort Lauderdale, to be exact. Where do you live? Vegas. And that's what she asked each and every single one of y'all, but y'all do not listen. None of y'all listen. Y'all already had asked, and then y'all could have already had that answer because y'all could. Some, one of y'all could have said, "I'll live it," but where do you live? Yeah, and she would have already no answered one, that. Yeah, no one asked that early, but she did stay in the beginning. She does travel. She likes to travel and do so. She may and not she's be not opposed. tied down to her kids. Yeah, and she, so she may not be opposed like that. For instance, when her kids are gone, she's probably, if she's not working, she's probably open to 
And I heard Fort Lauderdale, a nice place. You might could get more business down there in Florida than you can in Vegas. Unless you have, like, kids and a family like you have to take care of. Yeah. That's, that's different. different. Vegas. Okay, so you wouldn't be willing to do long distance temporarily? Too far. Well. I mean, because, listen. I'm I'll, grounded. I'll move for I'm love. At. I'm just saying. I'll move Ooh. for love. I, the dating pool, there's fecal matter in it right now. <laughs> So I can't be so picky anymore. I used to be super picky. He can't be bald. Mm, he can't be this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've had long distance the balloon relationship. Back. Okay, let's get that balloon back. <laughs> be willing serious. to date, bro. I'm looking at you. You I'm looking at me? You see I'm me? I'm looking at okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are older, bro. You got you to gotta understand what comes to the territory. kids as well. Well, yeah. the Brady Bunch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue with that. I prefer... Men with kids, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me walk you on up. Understand Come on up here. Let's, uh, you could if you want. <laughs> uh, that was an accident. We know that was an accident. He tried to catch it. <laughs> All right. So I have a final question. If there's no other questions between the two of you, what's the question? All right. No so question. then, is it a yes for you? For her? It's a yes. Is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this Aww. mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, I give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> All right, this is going right. to be a hell from Let's here on out. Let's go ahead and bring out our next <laughs> single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Valicia. Valicia? Yes. How old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and broker mm -hmm. in the Arizona it's area and DC as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Oh, no. um, <laughs> I'm really chill. I like speakeasies. I like staying at home and cuddling sometimes. <laughs> I like um, adventuring. I How try anything at least once. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who is also adventurous, someone who's looking for a serious relationship with the goal of marriage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for someone who is, I guess, multidimensional. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Nobody in this lot um, I know this is cliche, but I, I would say cigarette smoking. Um, uh, I won't say smoking in general, but it depends. Um, I don't mind if a man has kids, but I would <laughs> like to know how old, if under they two do. for me, might be a discussion to be had okay <laughs> um outside of that i would say the other thing is playing video games on a daily basis and it's not for your hobby i mean it's not for your profession mm. a hobby is mm. a yeah, little problem okay <laughs> yeah all I'm right so we that. haven't got any pop balloons thank you so i am gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you. the video games as a profession is very lucrative <laughs> yeah. you so let me hand you a pick uh-oh okay let me have you hold that. And I, I am going to have you pop two balloons. Two balloons based off of you what you're seeing. You want her to pop. Whoever doesn't really fall oh. into your type, whatever it is, <laughs> go ahead and pop two balloons. And no questions? No questions this round. All right. I know it's tough. No, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Perfect. Okay, and then one more. Oh my God. It's Okay, let's start right over here. Okay. Uh, your name and age. Hubert, 37. Okay. Hubert. And Hubert, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I was trying to give her a little bit of time to warm me up. Okay. She didn't say anything too bad. Um, I did notice some things that I don't like, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was just trying to give her some grace. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type? Well, what like, do you, you usually like? go for? Um, she cool. <laughs> she cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so why did we end up popping his balloon? Well, because it's a tough choice up here. Um, but I would, I, based off of the initial vibe in the eye contact, okay. I was just getting from other areas. I've had to make a decision. Cool. Yeah, okay. he ain't getting nobody no eye contact. Pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. My name is Micah. I'm 42. Okay. And Micah, why did you I have your 42. balloon unpopped? I like the things she was saying, it was kind of interesting, the things you were saying. Uh, and you seem, you got like good energy. You seem like you have good energy. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, now why did we end up popping his? Um, oh my God. Um, initial attraction. I would just say it. it's nothing that I could pinpoint. I just didn't feel the initial attraction there. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. Right, cool. Respect. Thank yeah. you. 
All right. So now you can go ahead and ask a question. All right. <laughs> so I kind of just want to know like a little bit about what some of you guys like to do for fun. Okay, cool. Your name and age and what do you like to do for fun? Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. I like to travel. I pretty much travel. Um, I like doing comedy shows and um, adventurous stuff too. You know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. You know, I got motorcycles and jet skis and stuff like that. Okay. That's pretty much. Awesome. Girl, ain't nobody in the lineup for you. Here. Your name and age and what do you like to do for fun? Maybe him because he's from DC. 38 from DC. Um, what I like to do for fun um, is pretty much typically travel. Um, I like to be by the water. Um, honestly, I adventure or so spontaneously water. do anything that my woman like to do. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Over here, your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Um, <laughs> ba I don't have fun. <laughs> it's always work with me, but at the same time, I ain't gonna lie for the say what she said. <laughs> in my, in my head, said what she said. What's your day? I'll say <laughs> three five five. All I said three three two six. I don't know how long to know. I don't know either, but that's all. I, I like shooting dice. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yeah, three five five. Three five five. Yeah, yeah. I show for the. This is what she said. What's your name? He, I said, he thinking about that inmate number. It's all jokes. Playing. We just, it's, but he remind me of somebody though, for yeah, real. Yeah, he definitely reminds us of someone. Okay. I'm an adventurous person. I'm I'm just about to say something. Yeah, you're an adventurous person. I'm a personality. I, I love. I mean. It's hard to explain, okay. but I'm always at work. I'm a single father, so it's like, yeah. All work, no play. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm 38. I'm a little bit of a brainiac. I like to play chess. Um, I got a podcast where I read from Prosperity Bible. Um, I recently retired from basketball. I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> um, it's okay. We all have then, dreams. Um, like sports, uh, Stone Mountain, running up the mountain and stuff like that. I got a couple of kids, so like whatever they like to do, I'm into. I'm real supportive with that. So, you know, I like to just create fun out of whatever. Okay. You know, talk shit a little bit. <laughs> Slide like in there. Okay. What's your kid? Right. How old your kids? Damn, girl, you should say how old your kids real quick. Or let, or let Kate, she got to talk you right there. We having a conversation. <laughs> okay, so based off of everything you've heard, what you've seen, whatever it is, okay. I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, MA345. Okay, <laughs> so I end up popping his. Um, for me, it was just a preference on the face tattoo. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's just not. Indeed. Yeah, understand. that's it. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So, Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she's gorgeous. Thank she you. She looks like she has a beautiful soul and whatnot. But Thank you. I understand. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's ask the remaining guys another question. Okay. So, if money were no option, where would you live and where do you live now? Ooh. Okay. Start over here. Where hmm. you live? Actually, no. Let's give him time. He's still thinking. Let's go down there. <laughs> <laughs> money was no option. Let's start down here. All right. Answer to your question. That's a good one. You know, I live a lot of places. I like I like Atlanta. Okay. Um, I like the network. Um, to be honest with you, I live in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, so you want to stay? You don't. You want to go nowhere? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, money wasn't an option. I said I never thought about it. I'm like thinking about it. About I would probably would Brentwood. I would just the atmosphere in the space. So it'll still be yours. It still be like in the state. I want like my. Eyes. I'm talking about. Oh, I'm saying like in the state. My bad. Yeah, in the. I yawn. My bad. But I'm saying like. Right down in Brentwood. So you're just thinking about just like no, because I've seen the homes with... and I've seen like the aesthetic. We shop over there. We like the vibe over there. It's, it's comfortability. Nashville's is on the up and up, thriving. I would love like the homes in Brentwood are gorgeous. Are like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's where the celebrities, 
the athletes, the footballs, hockey players. Let me see. Make sure I'm pronouncing this. Make sure it's what I'm thinking. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that area. If I'm still, but I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm like, all right, outside of that. Because I'm, I'm trying to go to the States. And I'm like, Florida, Florida. Nah. Uh, you thinking about somewhere in California, ain't you? Heck no. I would not live in I, California. I honestly, I really do love being from and staying in Tennessee. But like, what you was trying to look up though? You were trying to think of someone, huh? Nolansville. Oh, uh, you thinking of Nolansville? Uh, yeah, I was trying to see if that's what I was thinking about. Uh, but I can't remember if that's the one we'll, like, we'll be talking about sometime. Yeah, yeah. I have talked talk about it. But yeah, probably like if we just thinking like, you know, like ba- not basic or simple, but basic or simple. Because I was thinking like, are you talking like me? Like out the country somewhere. I was kind of thinking I that. Was just, but if we were talking about just I was, being like in states, yeah, probably like. Like I, I went to in states, but I did think about out of state. I mean, yeah. out of the states. And I was like the UK, possibly. Nah, because I don't know what the houses and stuff look like yeah. over there and in different other countries and the communities and stuff. But I'm familiar with where we are and like all this stuff, and I'm yeah. like, and I am familiar with places outside of Tennessee. I've I've traveled as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I was just like, bro, I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I like the vibe. I like the aesthetic. I like the feel when we over there. Like, I like being over there. Like, it's, it's just it ain't that far from where we at. But yeah, I just I love because you remember one time we were just riding through. I was like, damn, these some big ass nice ass houses, bro. Mm-hmm. We just we, cause we got lost one time going over there because we were trying to go somewhere else. And I was just like, damn, the homes over here, nice, bro. Nice, nice homes, though. All right, we being honest. You know, being honest, I probably would stay like somewhere that's by the water, but don't get all the BS that water bring, like tsunamis and all that stuff. Like okay. I like Atlanta because the weather is perfect. You know, it's, it's it's cold for like a short period of time, and then everything else is straight. And I don't like drama. I don't like weather. I don't like. <laughs> I just like to be chill, cool. Got gotcha. you. So that's why I choose Georgia. Okay. No tornadoes and stuff. Georgia, <laughs> like Georgia, it. nice though. My family there. <laughs> okay, all right on over here. Right, I don't so want him you, there though. The question was, um, where would I live? Or what was your question? Um, if money were no option, where would you live, and where do you currently live? Well, I currently, I'm currently residing in the DMV area, outside of DC, Maryland okay. area. Um, but uh, if money, basically saying if money was an option, well, honestly, I would like to live somewhere where it's nice and hot, like maybe Florida, somewhere like that, somewhere where Arizona? Arizona, cool. I actually like it out here. It's, it's pretty <laughs> chill, you know, a little hot, but it's not as humid as East Coast. Um, yeah. But, yeah, somewhere where it's water, beach at, where I can, you know, like to be by the water, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Okay, you had some time. What's your answer? Um, if money wasn't an option, definitely like a Bali or somewhere, somewhere different, like just a whole different country or something. And okay. I'm currently residing in New York. I heard yeah. New York. I figured okay. he was from New York, though. Okay. All right. It is time to pop. Oh. Yes. We're going to pop out of these three guys. Whose balloon are we popping? One? Just one. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Will. Okay, why did we pop his balloon? I have to. I like. <laughs> it's not an easy choice up here, but um, he seemed like he wasn't really sure mm. on his answer, and yeah, you looked a little confused. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. I don't want to stay in Georgia though. Like that's just not my vibe. So that's so really. You say where you want to go then? No, I want to hear from you. This is <laughs> about us. Where you want, babe? This is togetherness. <laughs> All right. So, Danny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she got like a natural goddess type vibe. Um, she seemed like she's caring and, um, really dives deep into a relationship and falls head over heels and make whatever, like tries to make it work. You know what I'm saying? And so I was hearing her out and she's very attractive, you know, so she seemed like she's easy going, cool to kick it with. So, yeah. Uh, he did a lot of thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we do have two guys left. <laughs> guys, any questions for our lady here? You have one? Okay, we'll start here, then we'll go over there. I'm talking about both. I'm assuming you don't have any kids, right? I don't. Do you want to be a mother? I do. He hey. had the man for you anyway. You You're beautiful. Thank you. 
I would never try to waste your time. That's something everybody should experience if they want to. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to have, like, start over again. I have two kids. I don't want to start over again. I understand. Yeah, I definitely want someone who's still open to the idea, even though I may not have kids. I still want someone open to the idea. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Now, prior to you know her saying she wants more kids, you had your balloon unpopped. Why so? She's beautiful. She's um she has in, in real estate, so she has like a money mind. It's right up my alley. I like that. Um, yeah, and she has like a, a good demeanor about it and everything. Thank you. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? I, I I do think if he was outside, I would say hi. I would hey. I would entertain you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And we do have one balloon left unpopped, and he did have a question. Okay. What's your question? Um. So my question is, in the household, what is the as, as far as the roles? Okay. What is, I love that. What, what does it look like as far as the man role and the woman role? What does it look like in, in your household? All right, so I'm a little old school, and I'm glad you asked this because I was raised by my grandparents and also in a Christian upbringing. Okay. So I do value the man as the lead, okay. and I'm going to, with good reason, submit to my man. Ooh, okay. Um, Ooh, I and like I want to like make sure, of course, that it's someone that I pick that's right, that I can trust his leadership, but I definitely feel like that comes first. And if I do get married, my husband is also gonna come before everything and everyone else, even if I do have kids. Some people take that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Biblically, I have the order. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that sounded like a good answer if I did. Um. <laughs> All right, let me bring you up. She should have counteracted with, are you willing to provide for a household? If you want me to play that role, are you, are you ready to play your role are you are you ready to you know because a lot of men nowadays this is the topic of the conversation are you are you gonna be submissive are you gonna but then when you like man i ain't will i ain't ready to take care of household or y'all try to a lot of them be trying to front like they can financially take care of household but then when push come to shove they can well you know what i'm saying baby i'm a, I'm a little shorter here can you uh can you help me out <laughs> like no nah, you said you're gonna Man, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Well, I ain't the only one. <laughs> yeah. Come on up here. Let's I didn't say it. I didn't say it too Come much. on up here. All right, y'all. Any it's a final union, man. questions? I did. I wanted to know if you have children. Yes, I have two boys. How old are they? Five and eighteen. Okay. Oh, like that. yeah. Yeah, grown. And what do you look for in a woman? Well, honestly, I look for a woman that's like you just described yourself, submissive. Let the man lead. Know what they want, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Respect. I'm big on respect. Yeah. Uh, you know, a woman that you know that knows what she wants, and um, that's pretty much it. You know. Okay, I like that answer. Big on respect. That's it. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, then, with this being said, is it gonna be a yes for you for her? I think it's gonna be a yes. Yes. Okay. I have one more question. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Go. No, ahead. it's it's <laughs> it's not not a deal breaker. I just wanted to know what part of the DMV because I live in the DMV too. Well, I, I'm. I grew up in Southwest DC. Okay. So, like I said, I'm in the area. I'm like uh, outside of Maryland right now. So. Okay. I'm in Silver Spring. Okay. Oh, that's close. So. Wow. He said yes. Now, is it going to be a yes for you for yes. him? We got a match. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. I would like to see that follow up. Yeah, I would too. Go ahead. It's one of them. Oh. <laughs> Look at she said, hand it to you so you can keep it for the next round. You, we ain't got to be wasting a balloon, slow boy. Hey, let's give it up for them. <laughs> so irritated. You said you irritated? I, I say he's so irritated. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Kat. Kat, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? I'm an electrician. Oh, and okay. I also model. That's different. <laughs> now, what are some things you do for fun? Um, I like to I like to do everything. I like to go shoot pool, um, play spades, um, skating. I don't know okay. why she looks for uh, East African. <laughs> now, what's some, you know what some I mean? things you look for in a man? Um, like, like Egyptian. So I'm looking for someone Ethiopian, who is genuinely trying to get to know me and court me and make me a part of their situation and not just, you know, keep me around as a placeholder. Mm. And... Mm. Okay, now what are some deal breakers? Deal breaker. Um, bad hygiene. Okay. Someone who texts me what you doing all day <laughs> with no, like, substance to the conversation. Mm. Um, 
That's pretty much it. <laughs> no problem. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go on over there and see why they ended up popping. She too, look like he might be too short. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Danny, I'm 38. Okay. And She's Danny, tall. why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, she's a very beautiful woman. Came out here with presents. Um, but we just being completely honest. I got a type. I like mine's, you know, a little bit thicker, you know, I'm like no ass, it won't last type dude. So I just like <laughs> just you know, I'm just here to find my type. Okay. All no right. Problem. All right. All right. Maybe now your is type. Danny someone that's your type? Um he's okay. I don't know him personally, but he's honest, so like that. Okay. Thank you. And we did get a pop back here. If we can have your name and age. Yeah, my name is Micah and I'm 42. Okay. And Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason I popped was because just the overall, uh, just the energy I'm getting from her. It wasn't, I wasn't um, gravitating to it. Um, just some of the things she was talking about, it didn't seem to align with my life. So, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now is uh, Micah someone that's your type? Um, he's okay also. Um, he's not ugly, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm I got okay. my push All right, thank so. you, Micah. <laughs> Let's head on back. All right, so we do. Well, I don't have, know what you want uh, from me. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask them a question just to help us narrow it down. Okay, what's you guys' toxic trait? Oh, okay. What's your toxic trait? Let's you start know, with your name you and age you first. <laughs> Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. Um, I don't know. I don't think I got no toxic traits. Uh, that's the toxic trait right that's there. That's my toxic trait. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I don't know. I can't even tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing scares. Nothing scares the women away. Huh? Nothing scares the women away. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> So there's nothing about you where like, man, I should really work on this one piece of me, like? Um, I think in my younger, like, you know, when I was younger, yeah. Okay. You know, I has, you know, a few toxic traits, but I think, you well, know. Well, when's the last time you've been in like a relationship? Uh, I want to say about eight years. When was that? What do you mean? When was the last time you were in a relationship? Yeah, like eight, eight years, years ago. ago eight, eight years, years ago, ago, everything was perfect. Nah, it wasn't perfect, but you know. <laughs> Nah, it wasn't. <laughs> you plead the fifth. Why do we... <laughs> you plead the fifth. Plead Why we end up popping? Nah, I just, I don't know. She don't believe that I, I could just be too good to be true. That's it. I don't know. No, I don't know. Have like, you met no. men? No. Well, no basically, basically what she's trying to say is nobody's perfect, man. So there's uh, there's got to be a flaw about yourself. And you have to recognize it before somebody else recognizes it. You can't recognize it. Can be, like the smallest thing. Yeah. Like, like hey, it's man. Something probably. Like, no, like, yeah, no one's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I don't talk to men. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. I'm just kidding. I have but, to talk um, to Trey, too. So. Okay. Yeah, but she's a beautiful girl now. You know? okay. No problem. So let's go to our other two guys then. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and what's your toxic trait? Uh, Hubert, 37. Uh, Hubert. I have three. Oh. Um, I'm flirtatious. I can be moody. Uh, and I can sometimes be nonchalant about my attachment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're good. All right, we got one more. Name, age, and what's your toxic trait? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. My toxic trait is, I, I think, I, <laughs> shit. Please, please. <laughs> I expect I consistency. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the same energy I put in, I expect the same thing. And some people don't give you that. And That's not toxic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that part. That's it. So no one has any toxic <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. okay. <laughs> so don't back. <laughs> All right, so since you asked that question, what's your toxic trait? Um, I like to be love-bombed. I think it's romantic. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Why did we end up... He ain't ready to settle. Hubert, Herbert. Herbert. Ain't ready to settle down anyway. He said he's very flirtatious. He's very, like... Moody, nonchalant. Nonchalant when know, it comes know, down to his relationship. Yeah, he, he's not... He's not trying to find love. 
He's up here to flirt, see who's in. Uh, so you even flirtatious in a relationship with someone else, not with your partner, but with other. Like I'm confused. For that to be your toxic for your, trait, for that to yes. be a toxic trait. Then yeah, that's a good trait if you in a relationship. Like I want you to still, feel, yeah, you know, yeah. flirt with me, date me, like crush on me. Like I, I, I want that. So what do you mean? You flirt with other people? So yeah, so he's not looking for someone he want to, you know, settle down with, you know. Popping our balloon, Hubert. That sound crazy as hell. <laughs> like you want me to love bomb you? Like understanding what love bombing is? Yes. No. <laughs> And I just told you I can be nonchalant, so it won't work. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Got it. So before you ended up popping over the love bombing thing, is she someone that's your type? She's attractive. Yeah, she could be around. I don't know if she could be <laughs> permanently or not, but she could be around for sure. Okay. Well, she just said she don't want somebody who... Gotcha. Do y'all do... We should, We need to bring a Q-tip test and just <laughs> say... Hold on, we gotta make sure your ears ain't clawed up with some, you know. Can y'all can you hear me? Cause a lot of y'all ain't listening, bro. <laughs> you know how you are. Right. And now is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah, I guess. He's cool. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna move <laughs> And we do have one balloon. I left think she go off more about personality. Any other questions between the two of you? Shame, Ronald. Oh, do you have a question? No. You have any questions? How do you deal with your trauma? Um, I go to therapy. That part, we ain't got yeah. no more questions. I ain't got no. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with your trauma? Therapist. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's the that best part. ever, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, any other questions between you two? No, I ain't got nothing else no. to say. Oh, okay. Let me bring you up. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> All right. All right, so y'all say you have no further questions, so I'm going to go ahead and ask mine. So, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Oh, is it a yes for you for him? No. Ooh. <laughs> Look at her. Herbert. I said now, I, I said in my head, she knows she ain't going with him. <laughs> but I was trying to be nice because I've been trying to learn to bite my tongue and I say everything that come to my mind. Ooh, oh my shit! I've got Damn. working on me. Yeah, I've got working on me. Oh <laughs> shit! See, <C-A. laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's the way she said it, though. Oh shit! <laughs> we came down. Oh shit! Damn. Dang. What's his name? Oh, man. I don't even give a <laughs> Man. That's the worst. I feel bad for him, though, because he was happy. That's worse than a pop to the, the <laughs> I feel bad, though, for real, because he was happy, though. Oh, man. He was like, oh, shit. I'm leaving here with some. He said, he said hey to mama and everything. Did, did he say hey mama? Yes. Hold oh, on. Let me man. take it back. He said he, he shout out to mama and everything. Oh, man. Oh man, that was the funniest one though. That's worse than a balloon pop. Oh, okay. Let me Listen. Bring you up. Come on oh, up. Come on up. <laughs> All right. Then he went up there swift. All right. So y'all say you have no further questions. So I'm going to go ahead and ask mine. <laughs> so is it going to be a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. He's so happy. I feel so bad for Oh, him. shit. Yeah, I feel so bad. Like that. He's like, heck yeah. He said, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at Hubert though. What she said no, look at Hubert. 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 Oh. Why is it a yes for you for him? No. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why really I laugh so hard, bro. John. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why was it a no for you? Um, he, he wore whole ass glasses. Just say you just say you ain't attracted to her. You, don't yeah, don't tear this man down, bro. She first off said That's all, it's alright, man. Oh shit. I feel bad for the man. Damn, bro. This one this episode tail. is crazy, bro. <laughs> 
Um, his teeth. He wore whole ass glasses inside, and it's like ten o'clock at night. Um, and I just couldn't hear half the things that he was saying. Okay. All right. Well, that is what all is the that? balloons popped. <laughs> And that nigga said, you don't know why I got these tits drops on. Uh, I'm going to catch your ass at the end. Don't you be in the park. <laughs> That's not funny, by the way, because people are like that for real. Bro, you see how he's staring her down, though? He said, bitch, you said something about like, tea. You done took me back to a dark place. <laughs> see, that's why I be trying to be. Look, I be look All you had to do is say, uh, I just wasn't physically attracted to him. He's really not the type of guy I normally go to. And I know Arlette was going to say, what well, just, what yeah, about. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out the way. No, nah, all you got to do is say, okay, I girl. typically don't do bald head guys, you know. And then leave it at that. Leave it at that, man. And, and you could have maybe said some, maybe tattoo or something. No, nah, just say, or, most, like, or the thing. dress wise, I, I like a guy that's, you know what I'm saying, kind of more dressed. The, the most basic thing. No, nah, just say a guy that's more dressed. Because that's the basic thing. He came in with a t shirt and some cargo. But some people will be mad because you said something about they fit. I'm trying to Lightly. Man, he, he look like he's still stuck in the 90s, bro. He might be. <laughs> you know, sometimes we go inside and time stop. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring oh, yeah, out our next the fuck single off, lady. Oh, he wrote his... Yeah, he pissed off. Oh, he ready to fight. Hello. You made him a life and start. And what's your name? I'm Michelle Brazel. Isho. Michelle Brazel. Oh, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a tax professional and I also work for accounts payable for a very large fire and safety company. Very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I was raised in ballroom dancing, so I love to dance. Um, I love to sing. I love to travel. I love parks. Um, it's probably easier if I say what I don't like. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, someone who's generous, and I don't mean by giving out their pocket, but just a very kind person. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows how to communicate without yelling. Mm -hmm. I don't like the yelling. I'm from the East Coast, so I'm used to aggressiveness. However, I like to stay in this energy. Um, someone who likes to dress, someone um, who loves to read, mm. um, like to cook with me. Okay, now what are some deal breakers? Someone who yells oh. consistently. If that's how you communicate, that would be a deal breaker for me. Okay, got it. All right, so we do have one pop balloon. Let's head on over there. Okay, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Micah and I'm 42. Uh, the reason I popped Come on, was smoke. Just so if if I'm looking for somebody like want to be in a relationship with somebody, I'm looking to marry that person. So if I if I'm like uh, dating somebody, I want to I want to marry that person and, and call her my wife. And I just you are very pretty. Thank you. But I just couldn't see you as like being my wife. I hear you. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That was Micah, someone that. that's your type. Um, yes, he's very handsome. Um. Yeah, energy. I feel where he's saying on the energy, okay. but um, as far as attraction goes, yes, he's very much my type. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go ahead and ask these guys a question to help us narrow it down. Well, I like to keep it fun. I know you gentlemen have been here for a little while, so mm -hmm. what do you gentlemen like to do for fun? Okay, start over here with your name and age. What do you like to do for fun? I'm La. I'm forty. Um, I like to travel. Like I do comedy. I like going to comedy shows and stuff and. Yeah, you know, adventurous things. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? Uh, Hubert, 37. Uh, it's probably easier to ask me what I don't like to do. Um, <laughs> but love to go to the movies, love live music, going to college football games, traveling, eating good food. Awesome. All the good things. Pleasure. Yep. All right, your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny, I'm 38. I like going, I like nature. You know what I'm saying? I like meditating and not mean trying to warm myself. Um, and trying to get closer to God. That's something I enjoy. Okay. That's it. Pleasure to meet you. Name and age and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm thirty eight. <clears throat> I like to uh play chess. Um, avid reader. Um run. I know I don't look like it a little bit, but <laughs> I just getting into it, you know. I hear you. Um, 
and like to just chill with my old lady when I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank thank you. you. Okay, let's head on back. So I am now going to hand you a pic. Okay. <clears throat> have you hold that? Oh, this is and always the hard part. I wonder what part of the East Coast she's from, though. Like New York, Philly, like <clears throat> like uh, Jersey, possibly, or like is she more like D DMV area? Like what part? Or uh, like Mass. Yeah, they massive. So. Yeah, it's a hard part. I'm gonna have you pop mm. one balloon based off of what you heard, what you see, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop that one. Okay. Okay. I didn't so, mean to do that so adamantly. Why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, the eye connection for me. Um, I like to be intimate with someone that I chose, and I know you've been here for a while, but me too. <laughs> <laughs> that part. So that was really it for me. If I could, um. Girl, he's just irritated. Intimacy, I probably wouldn't have. I did. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So but you're very handsome. You're cool. No, she's cool. And Johnny, why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she seemed cool. I mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, all that. I'm about to get that <laughs> drunk, ain't Okay. okay. I'm not drunk. <laughs> all right. And we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, What's your nationality? I'm Cubanita and Italiana. Yeah. I like. What was the first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guanita and Guanita and Italian. I don't know what the Italiana. Italiana. What's your nationality? I'm Cubanita and Italiana. Guana, yeah. Italiana. Somebody like uh, explain that, you know. Oh, in the comments for There's nothing. Okay. Yes, no problem. I mean, <laughs> she's black. No, 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 not. Of course, they're black. You know, I'm from New York. All Spanish, everything is black. But, you know, like, just that system. Yeah. Okay. You're beautiful. I love your manners. I like how you greet everybody. But like you said, um, if I'm looking to get into sure. a relationship for marriage, I want like a, you know, a black woman. For I melanated Thank sisters. You. It's no a problem. deep melanated right. sister. So now is Law yeah. someone that's your type? Well, we're both from New York. I'm from Flatbush. So initially mm -hmm. the energy, yes. But um, we do, we are very strong on our that's preference. So, yeah. Um, yeah, looking at them, yes. But um, I kind of feel the... The different chemistry. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So we do have two balloons left unpopped. I can go ahead and ask these guys another question. Do you gentlemen have any children? Okay. They both have kids. How many children? How many? Okay. Start over here. I have one. And how old? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's two years old. He's two. Mm. And how was your relationship with the baby mother? Um. Mm. We are amicable legally. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go down over here. Mm. Okay. How <laughs> many kids do you have? I got two kids. Um, one is 18 and the other one is five. Mm. Started over. And the relationship yeah, started with over. <laughs> oh, yeah. My first child's mother, we was, we known each other since middle school, so we don't went through all the BS. We mm. cool. Second one, she's cool. I'm just cool. To be honest with you, I don't really do the drama thing. You right. I fix it. <laughs> That's how I am. Something to consider? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And guys, any questions for our lady? Right here? Okay. Sure. Um, so I have two questions. Okay. Sure. Uh, do you have kids? I do not. Okay. Uh, and you reside where? In Colorado. Okay. Oh, that's different. I live in Chicago. I love Chicago. Mm. Travel there quite often, actually. <laughs> Good? Yeah. All right. Any questions over here? So, in this day and age, um, women really had the upper hand. Well, it's like this lineup, you got a lot of men to choose from. So, how do you show the person that you with that you're just as interested in him as he is in you and that he doesn't have to worry about other people? Um, Hubert, 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 Hubert. Please, some, somebody please explain. Let him, uh, let him. For me, um, I have a very strong domesticated streak. Unless he ain't looking for those So even things. though I run my own business, um, I help people with their finances, keep them on track, out of jail with the IRS, I like to come home and be domesticated and be with my partner. 
I like how we can have individual time because my job can be a little bit demanding, but I like to make sure that I'm always resetting and focused on home, having two separate lives. When I walk out the door and I'm a professional, I'm a professional. When I come home, I'm my man's woman, 100%. For sure. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. all right. <laughs> so let's head back over here. We did get a pop. Why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, I think she's a beautiful woman. Uh, great energy. I just don't see her being my person. Like, I, I can't see that. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Now, is uh, Hubert someone that's your type? Um, not typically, but I am geared more towards personality, okay. not really looks. Got it. So I would um, definitely give him an opportunity to speak. And our last guy over here did end up popping. Why did we pop our balloon? Well, to be honest with you, it's the the New York aggressive thing. Oh. I feel like I like um, my women a little, a little tad bit softer. Okay. You know, uh, I'm a chill, laid back dude, and you know, I liked her to be even more submissive than that. And I, she's very beautiful. I just. I ain't gonna lie, she, she's very toned down to be a lady from New York, from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen a lot of them can be like, is she, she done brought it all the way down. Maybe because she's not in that environment anymore, too. So she's been able to get outside, reset her mindset, you know? You never know. But, like, to be honest, that's what she was born and raised. It's like certain things are gonna be instilled in her just by, based off the environment she was born into. So you can't mm -hmm. fault her for that. Yeah. It's are you going to submit to me without me having to, you know, buff up a little bit to, you know what I'm saying, to put sure. control you down? I just I just want to chill. Sure. And I know New Yorkers, they be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Not this one. As <laughs> yeah, I said, I don't like to yell. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like to stay in my femininity at all times. I feel you. I feel <laughs> you. But you're very beautiful, though, well, sweetheart. You. you know what I'm saying? Hair look nice. Outfit look good, you know what I'm saying? You. You for your fingernails, match your toes and everything. So <laughs> you good. Well, thank you. Thank right. you for your time. Now, is Danny someone that's your type? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think she would have won. Thank you. Her. Bye bye. Let's head on back. So that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank you for coming on. Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and thank give you, it up gentlemen. for her, guys. Y'all lovely. I'll take this. Thank you. So we got one more. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Oh, My name is Melissa Gemma. Oh, Melissa, boy. okay, and yeah. Cause she come, she just pulls she, like, you know, not like not begging, but like, ain't none of these dudes in the long. <laughs> she finna waste her time, bro. Just uh, off her, the way, I'm saying the way she approached, I'm like, dang, she, this is going to be a waste of time, you know? My name is Melissa Gemma. Melissa, okay. And yes. how old are you? I'm 36. And what do you do? So I'm a property manager as well as TV and film, hairstylist, and makeup artist. Nice. Yes. Okay. Now, what are some things I could do for fun? I like to eat. <laughs> okay. Do y'all know how to cook? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> so yes, I'm a foodie. I mm -hmm. love to eat. I love all different types of food. Mm -hmm. Don't eat pork, um, but I'm open to trying, you know, Lots pretty much things. anything. Okay. Um, I'm a creative, so anything of the arts, pretty much, you know, I'm passionate about. I love music. Nice. I love books. I love art. I love museums. Um, yeah. Okay. No. I just love to have fun. Like, as long as it's a good time, it's mm -hmm. a vibe, we're being safe. You're there I'm for good. it. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, okay. Um, I desire a man, um, a man of God. Mm. A man of God, for sure. Okay. Um, he doesn't, I'm not going to say you have to be in church every Sunday because I'm, I'm on my journey as well. Mm -hmm. However, you have to be willing to, you know, want to cultivate that relationship with God. That's really important to me. Okay. Um, a progressive man, uh, a man who is purpose-driven, mm -hmm. that's really important to me as well. Because if you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you're here. Right. Then you will never live up to your fullest potential. Um definitely marriage minded a man who is intentional about what he wants um provision 
And not just from a financial aspect, because I know we get up here and say, oh, I want to provide. <laughs> oh, he needs to be able to provide stability. Right. But it encompasses so much more than just finances. OK. Like, obviously, a leader. I have a son. I have a six year old son. Um, great kid. Myself and his father, we co-parent very well. That's good. So he has to be a man that is willing to, you know, accept a woman with a child and mm -hmm. also kind of know how to navigate that type of relationship. Because if you're going to be with me, we are a package deal. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, be confident. Okay. Um, have a plan. And just know how to, you know, I mean, you got two hands. I may be a little bit of a handful, but that's in a good way. <laughs> okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Give um, me like two. Deal breakers. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Deal breakers. Uh, I would say someone who lacks emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to be emotionally aware. Just mm -hmm. have some tact. Um, just kind of know how to communicate. That's really big, which I know is a cliche. Everybody talks about it because it's trending, but it's really the truth. Okay. Um, mm, anger issues. That is a deal breaker for me. Got it. Uh, you can't control your anger. Okay. That's, um, that's good. You okay. got those two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Okay. Let's go on over there. Oh, did we have okay. Did you hear your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, yeah, my name yeah. is Micah, and I'm 42. Hi, Micah. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. Okay. And Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason why I popped, well, first off, I just wanted to hear what she had to say. Mm -hmm. And what really uh, caught my attention is when she was talking about a man of God or someone, <clears throat> a man that's trying to seek God. Yeah. So that, that gravitated, that I gravitated to that. So, okay. uh, and then just the things she was saying, it, it was really, you know, it intrigued me, the okay. things she was saying. And, um, but yeah, so the reason I popped was because just, just the, she's, a, she's a bit too slender for my type, Okay. but she's, you are, you are very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. You're nice looking too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Micah. All right, let's head on back. So we do have four guys remaining. Let's go ahead and ask them a question. See who's more your type. So fellas, let's see. Uh, <laughs> how do you handle temptation in a relationship? Okay. Let's start with your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name is La, I'm 40. Okay. And um, how do I handle temptation? Yes. In a relate now you're in a relationship. This I'm not saying as a single man. So you're in a relationship. You made a commitment to a woman. And obviously being realistic, you know, there's going to be temptation. We're human. We're Absolutely. all attracted to people. So how do you handle temptation when you have made a commitment to someone and you got this baddie in your face and she's everything that you like and want and lust for? All right. Let's hear from him. <laughs> Talker. Um, basically, it's self-control. Like, okay. when you get to this age, you got to have self-control. If I'm in a relationship, I'm basically blind to everybody else. I'm Stevie Wonder. That's it. Okay, Stevie. Yeah, okay, thank you. She is a Let's go over here she with your name and weird. age and how do you handle temptation? I forgot. Uh, Hubert, 37. Um, I have different tactics. Pray on it. For sure, pray on it. Um, I'm a big blocker. Like, I will block you. Okay. Um, I In my last relationship, I went and removed all of the women that I was following. That would be temptation. Okay. Um, also, I just don't put myself in situations where I got to deal with that because I am go. human. So, yep. That's yep. what I was looking for. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and how do you handle temptation? I'm Johnny, I'm 38. I handle temptation. I pray a lot and I talk. If I'm saying you got to communicate. Absolutely. That's it. Okay. okay. Last guy here. Name and age and how do you handle temptation? I'm Danny. I'm 38. To be honest with you, it was um, I've adapted the philosophy of monogamy because there's a lot of financial and personal growth benefits that come from that. So I really don't get tempted when I'm in a relationship because I've engulfed myself into the relationship. So other women just don't matter. Got you. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So based off of those responses you heard, whatever you see, all that good stuff, I am going to have you pop. So let me give you a pick. Okay. 
And let's go so. ahead and pop one balloon. All right. I already know who it is. Oh. Always. What's his name? Oh, why Johnny? don't you let it go? <laughs> Okay, so why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, honestly, his answer was really, really good. Just the um, I'm the physical attraction. Okay. Yeah, just not like a connection or you know. Yeah. Okay. And now Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped? You want a real answer? I'm trying to respond. take phone home to my mama. You hear me? She she love your show. Okay. That's it. So she's not your type. No, nah, she's too skinny. She gorgeous though. Thank You're you. Gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the remaining three guys another it's question. Home. That's my mom. Um, she loves the show. Okay. Um, so, uh, in terms of the family dynamic, who comes first? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Who comes first? Um, I have kids, so my kids come first. Okay. Married? We're married. Okay. Hey, hold on. The mic ain't even on you yet, Hubert. Oh, sorry. Who comes first? If I'm married, my wife. So, let me rephrase that. Mm -hmm. rephrase. In terms of the family dynamic, mm -hmm. as far as hierarchy is concerned, God the order first. of the family, in order for you to have sustainability, mm -hmm. who comes first in your relationship? This oh, is a marriage. God. There's a, a family. God. Okay. <laughs> I mean, great answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening. So yeah. then we got one more. All right, let's hear from you. Me. Okay. Period. Oh, yeah. Say, bow, 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 bow. say me, period. Man, it's God come first, man. God first. Boy. God first, I'm second. No, nah, it's supposed to be God first, other second, I'm third. You know what I'm saying? Rule of thumb. I, f my, I messed up on it. But God first, other second, I'm third. Put others before yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's. But you, you kind of got to TD, TD with that other second because you can never. Cause some people can get caught up too much with you know others coming second, you know, where they forget about themselves and get lost into making sure other people are straight. So you got to teeter with that, but you know what I'm saying. But think about others before you think about yourself, you know. You know, uh, on the head, everything starts with the head and the leader, and you know, my household follows that. I follow God. My household follows me. Let's head on back. It is time to pop she a was balloon. In his so, out of these three remaining guys, whose balloon are you gonna pop? <laughs> he finna pop it anyway, girl. You shouldn't even did that. Can't play with him, honey. He ain't got no type of sense of him. He gonna pop because he be like, you was too hesitant on him. That's what he told the girl earlier. No, he told her that. You all right? You having hot flash? Yes, I am. And I feel sick. Uh, Sorry, y'all. I, I know some people be thinking I'd be like, you know, bad or angry or something. I really just don't feel good. Sorry, though. Okay, let's stay over here. So, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, it just seemed that, I mean, great answer. I, I just think it was very um, centered, self centered, like me, just me. When a family consists of more than just you. You said the head, the hierarchy. Right. Which is God. Okay, we not talk about that. that's all that's just universal. That's that's uh that's understood. You know, what's understood ain't gotta be explained. That's all but you know what I'm saying, yeah. that's cool. When it, mm -hmm. it comes to like it's not even a discussion to be honest with you. Right. Like it's my household you're coming into. Like mm -hmm. it's my kingdom. You know, I ain't never seen a king put a queen over him. I wasn't looking for, um, I don't think there's an issue with your perspective. However, um, God true. comes first, then the husband, then the wife, then the children, so on and so forth. That's exactly what I said. But I, <laughs> I no it. problem. Are okay. you very beautiful? Thank you. know you. what I'm saying? That's why I had the balloon on pop. Thank you know what I'm saying? Everything about you is A1, you went that wow. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. 
Okay, we dig. Oh, he po- he probably said, "Man, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to you, Herbert." <laughs> Herbert, get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? Um, just didn't feel the aura. There's a connection and vibe. That's it. The energy. She's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, but um, great figure. Thank you. you know, and educated too. So, but I just didn't feel the aura and the mm-hmm. connection. Got it. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? Um, I would. I would go on. I would go out on a date. Okay. I would. Mm-hmm. He's nice looking. I like the colors. You Thank look you. good in the herb tones. Thank you. <laughs> you know? All right. So we do have one more balloon left unpopped. So any final questions between the two of you? Um. Let's see. Do you have any children? I have one. How He's old? two years old. <sighs> Too young. Too young. Any any babies under five? Okay. Yeah, it's a deal breaker for me. I just didn't get a chance to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she cool. Uh, right. Yeah, like uh, I think she's attractive. She had a nice little body on her. Thank um, you. Not too skinny. No, nah, I like slim women, so it's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. She didn't say anything that made me want to pop, but okay. you know, good. it happens. Uh, now, I know the kids was a little too right. young, but is he someone that's your type? Like, would you go for him? It's so, he is actually isn't my type, but just based off of his answers, I definitely would have, yeah. Okay, all right, well, thank yeah. you. You answered exactly how I would have. That's what I was looking <laughs> for, you got it right. All <laughs> right, so that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately, but thank you so much for coming on. Let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this, thank you. Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode say, of Pop the Balloon and right. Find Love. If you liked, it'll be quick. That's what I was about to say. I was gonna say, damn, we got a butt. No. <laughs> but um but this lineup was a little uh for So me, how what we got two? Uh, two matches? Uh we got her that she took her her wig off. Mm-hmm. Uh anybody no, the chip before her, no, no, no. Hold on. She matched. Yeah, so too. But who's she in a match? Oh, yeah, dude from D.C. Yeah. Yeah, yeah only two, two matches. matches. Okay, I mean, sometimes you won't get any. Sometimes you just get one. And we just so happen to get two this time. Yeah. So. Babe, man. Y'all spam us up. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about Please it for us. Do. In the comment section down below, man. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ New Kid. This is we are we are.